Hello everybody, God bless you. May the Lord be with you. Today, I felt on my heart to come up here to make this video speaking to this generation concerning a lot of things that are happening right now. What our priorities, what we should be doing in these last days. How are you living your life? Is your life pleasing unto the Lord? When that day come, will you go to heaven with Jesus? Will Jesus tell you, well done, my good and faithful servant? Or will you hear, depart from me? for I never knew you. Jesus is coming back soon. There's no denying it. Look around you. Look at everything that's happening in the world right now. Jesus says, if you seek to save your life, you will lose it. But if you lose your life for his sake, then you will find it. So you just have to come to a point where you ask yourself, am I trying to save my life? Am I doing everything that I wanna do and I neglect God? I push away what God want me to do. I push away the calling of God that he has for my life. You have to come and ask yourself and be honest with yourself. Are you really in the will of God? Are you doing the things that God wants you to do? Are you living your life just clueless, not knowing your purpose, not knowing anything that God wants you to do? You're living day by day, paycheck to paycheck, surrounding yourself with people that you know are not good for you listening to music that you know are not good for you doing things that you know that you shouldn't be doing and at the back of your mind you know that god is calling you for something bigger for something greater but you keep pushing and pushing it off i want to let you know that jesus is coming back soon and tomorrow is not promised for anybody get right with god today there are people right now that thought that they could make it and wake up the next day or people that would have never expected to die early at a certain age this is not to scare you whatsoever, but this is just to let you know that this life is temporary. What is 80 years, 90 years, 100 years on this life compared to eternity? When we leave here, we will be spending eternity in either two places, either heaven or hell. You will go to heaven if you accept Jesus into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior. And you believe that he died for you on the cross and rose again on the third day. That's the only way we can be able to go into heaven because he took our punishment he took our sins what we deserve upon himself allowing us and gifting us with the free gift of salvation he says that if anybody believe on him he shall receive eternal life now this belief means that you are actually obeying his commandment because if you believe him you have to believe in the things that he has said and if God says don't do this and don't do that that means that you are following the commandments that he has given us through his word so you can't say that you believe God but then then you're not living for him. There's two different type of beliefs. And this belief that the Bible is talking about is the belief that we should obey him and follow after him. You can believe that God is real and not live for him. Even the demons believe and they tremble. And Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commands. It's not just about going to church on Sundays and from Monday to Saturday, you're living for yourself. You have to honestly come to a place where you are tired of the way that you're living. You want your life to please God. Everything that God has created has a purpose. There's a meaning behind every single thing that God made. If you see the bird, you see the sun, the moon, the air that we breathe, every little thing has a purpose. So how much more your life, how much more do you have a purpose? You're not just here to go to a nine to five. People often say, we only live once, so I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna live my best life. But the truth is, we do only live once. And that's why you have to make it count. It's not just about doing what you wanna do. It's about accomplishing the purpose that God has given us upon this earth because this life is a test. How are you living this life? Will Jesus really tell you, well done, my good and faithful servant? When you go and see him, we all will face Jesus one day, all of us. There's nobody here on this earth that will not meet him. Whether you believe him or whether you don't believe him, you will face Jesus and that's the truth. The Bible says in Romans chapter eight, verse nine, but you are not in a flesh, but in a spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. It's the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. Do you feel conviction every time you are about to do something that God doesn't want you to do? Or are you just living your life any kind of way? God is there. God loves us more than anyone can ever love us. The Bible says that he loves us with an unconditional love. God's love for us is not conditional. He loved us when we were sinners and he still loves us when we become his children. And the Bible says that God has plans to prosper us 
to give us a future and a hope. God has amazing plans for your life to give you a future. God's purpose is not for you to live defeated. Jesus says that the thief come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He's talking about the devil, but he said that I have come to give them life and life more abundantly. So Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. If you're in poverty, if you're in bondage, if you're in sickness, whatever it is that you're dealing with, if you're living in fear, anxiety, whatever the case may be, Jesus has come to set you free and he wants you to live a victorious life because that's what he came to give us and that can only happen true freedom can only happen through Jesus it's not going to happen through you going and meditating smoking weed partying hanging around with girls boys whatever the case may be it's about surrendering those needs everything to God and allowing him to satisfy us. Everybody that you see desire love from God. We all want to be loved because we were created for love. You were made for love, by love, to experience love. But the problem is many people don't have God in their life. So therefore, they try to fill up the hole inside of their heart by going to these different things. And you might be one of those people. What are you using to try to fill up that hole in your heart? that only God can fill. Nothing can fill that hole except for Jesus. The Bible says in James 4 a, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts through double-minded. So if you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. God is already there waiting for us to seek after him. And he says that if we seek him, with all of our hearts, we will find him. It's a promise from God that we will find him. There's a part that you have to play and God wants to use you mightily to do great things here on this earth. And if you are somebody, you want to experience the power of the love of God, and you are like, man, I'm done. I'm tired of living the way I am living. I'm tired of living in sin, defeated in bondage and I want to experience the love and the power of God. If you are that person, if God forbid today was your last day on this earth, you don't know if you'll make it to heaven or not. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, that you will be saved. So if you want to accept Jesus into your heart at this moment and know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you will go to heaven, I want you to believe this prayer and repeat this after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God who died for me, and he rose again from the dead. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and use me for your glory. Give me a passion for the laws, a hunger for the things of God, and a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm saved, I'm born again, I'm going into heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer and you believe that you meant it with your heart, I want to tell you that your sins are forgiven and run to God and not away from him because he loves you and he has a wonderful plan for your life. And if you pray that prayer, I want you to come it down. I pray. And if you are looking for a community full of people who love God and will encourage you and support you and help you get closer to him, I want you to DM me on my Instagram. The link will be in the description. But I love you guys. God bless you and see you next time.